I'm gonna do a quick video on this Ames uh, instrumental. Uh, this is an amp pro, an amp meter pro. So I purchased this a couple of months ago, but it comes with instructions on how to use this thing. I'm gonna do a more detailed uh, usage of this, but right now I'm gonna just show you how to check your amperage and stuff, especially when you're welding as a CWI, you need to know these different functions. And this thing right here, this Ames, uh, I know it's not a fluke, it's a little cheaper than the fluke, but it is really solid built. And if you get it, you get a, it's not a certificate, it passed the QC, but you need to get these calibrated if you're gonna be working on the pipeline. And there's different companies out there that calibrate them. It takes them about uh, seven days to get it done for you, about 70 to $100. But let's go and check some amperage right quick. Here go how you do it. Say for instance, you're getting ready to check amperage on a welding machine or guys are getting ready to weld. What you want to do is turn it to amperage and go with your highest setting. Uh, you got a, it goes up to a thousand, but you're going to be running around a hundred, uh, maybe 200 amps. So you're safe on the other one, but go ahead and go on the, the thousand, but you can go from 60 to 600. You'll get a more accurate reading. But once you turn it on, you want to go down here. Um, so we're doing DC. So you want to come here and you want to hit select this function right here. You see how it changed it to DC. You hit it again, it changed to AC. Or you can hit this range button and hold it for a few seconds and it goes to auto. So it'll auto select it for you. To get rid of that auto, only thing you need to do is just go to this function, hit it once and it selects back to DC. So we're gonna do some uh, checking some voltage here on the welding machines here while these guys are welding and check it out. Only thing you have to do, like I said, make sure it's on DC because we're using DC uh, uh, amperage and you wanna go and just put your clamp around the negative or positive. If you put it around a negative, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have a negative reading. It is just reading backwards. So if it's running 170 amps, you're gonna see a negative sign in front of it. It'll say 170. You swing, put it over to the positive, you're gonna you're not gonna see that negative sign, and it's still gonna read 170. So it really don't matter which lead you put it on, but uh, I would recommend you putting it on the positive um, to get you a, a better reading. So, and I'm gonna also do another video to show you how to use the voltmeter, how to check ohms and hertz and different things like that, capacitors. But for right now, I'm just showing you the simple usage of this amp probe. Like I said, make sure you select the right thing and you can also hit your max and mins if you wanna get a maximum amperage or a minimum amperage. And to clear that, just hold it. And let it go and this right here it says bl hole that's your light uh if you it working at night you want to press that button you see how the light come on and it also has a light right here so you can see what you're doing to turn it off you can just hit it again or it'll go off by itself so let's go over and check some amperage Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on your notifications, and share this video. Also, leave comments. Thanks for watching. Welding and stuff.